everyone, I'm Nurse Chung, your favorite healthcare educator, and I'm super excited because we're diving into something that's crucial for starting your nursing career. Well, maybe not as fun as Grey Anatomy marathons, but it is important nonetheless, and that's the ATITs exam. The TEAS exam tests your knowledge on basic academic skills for getting into nursing colleges. Why is it really important that you need to ace it? Well, it's simple. Nursing schools love high scores. It's like the catnip for admission committees. Trust me, you're gonna need it in order to be competitive. So how are you gonna get there? Enter my comprehensive ATITs study guide. This isn't just any guide. It's like your personal academic coach minus all that whistling and that yelling. It's packed with all the essential tips and tricks that you're gonna need in order to be confident when you take your exam. Let's break it down subject by subject. We got reading where I'm gonna teach you how to dissect passages like a pro. Starting with key ideas and details, I'm gonna delve into how to identify main themes, understand sequences of events, and draw logical conclusions. You're gonna get your hands on practice questions and passages that are gonna reflect the complexity of what you're gonna face on the T's, accompanied by illustrations, step-by-step -step breakdowns that are gonna help you identify what you need to know for key ideas and details. When it comes to craft and structure, we're gonna tackle how authors construct their passages. You're gonna learn how to recognize the intent behind different text structures and discern the meaning of words and phrases in context. My guide illuminates these concepts with clear illustrations bringing the craftsmanship behind the text to life. You're going to see real world examples mirroring the T's content so that you can gain familiarity as well as confidence. With integration of knowledge and ideas, the last part of reading, I'm gonna guide you through comparing and contrasting different texts, analyzing arguments, and evaluating evidence. This section is reinforced with illustrations that exemplify the skills and action that you're gonna need in order to apply this with the real world scenarios that you're going to experience when it comes to the T's. Next, we have the math section, and this is really where numbers become your best friend. We start with measurement and data, where we're gonna focus on how to handle qualitative and quantitative data effectively, and it's also gonna cover interpretation of graphs and charts, which are really essential for data analysis. You're gonna learn the different measurement systems of how to convert between them and a fundamental skill for any technical or scientific field. Additionally, the section is gonna to touch on understanding geometric figures and their attributes, as well as calculations involving dimensions and volumes. And then the last part of the math portion is numbers and algebra, where we're gonna lay the groundwork for numerical proficiency. It begins with the basics of arithmetic, including operations of whole numbers, fractions, and decimals. You'll learn how to work with ratios, proportions, and percentages, which are vital for understanding and calculating various mathematical problems. Also in this section, you're gonna develop skills to solve linear equations and inequalities. And you're going to be manipulating algebraic expressions, which are key competencies for problem solving in many of the academic and professional settings. Now, it's no secret that one of the hottest topics when it comes to T's is the science section. And with this section, I'm going to turn you into little mini Einsteins. We're gonna get through it, trust me. We're gonna start with the anatomy and physiology section. We're gonna dive into those structures and those functions of the human body. Body. We're going to include different detailed coverage of body systems, such as the cardiovascular, respiratory, digestive, nervous, and so much more. You're gonna learn about the interrelationships between the systems and how they work together in order to maintain homeostasis. When it comes to the chemistry guide, we're going to examine the foundations of chemistry, including that periodic table that everybody loves, chemical reactions, and the basic properties of substances. You're gonna gain an understanding of atomic structures, chemical bonding, and the basis of, uh, basics of acids, bases and solutions, which are all fundamental concepts when it comes to chemistry. Next, we have life sciences. This is gonna encompass a range of topics when it comes to biology, from cellular biology and genetics to the classification of organisms. This content is designed to give you that solid grounding in the study of life, as well as those living organisms. And then last part of our science is scientific reasoning. And this is dedicated to developing your capacity for scientific inquiry and analysis. And when you get into nursing school or whichever school you're going into, critical thinking is important. So we're gonna start to build it early. It includes interpreting scientific data, understanding scientific measurements and units, and applying scientific principles to novel situations. This section is critical for developing the analytical skills that's gonna be necessary when it comes to problem solving in any 
kind of foundation that you have in science. And finally, we have English and language usage because grammar matters, besties. You're gonna need to know it. Starting with vocabulary acquisition, we're gonna enhance your vocabulary range, which is crucial for understanding and interpreting reading materials. It includes methods for understanding word meanings, using context clues, as well as discerning the meaning of words through knowledge of word parts, which are our root, prefixes, and suffixes. Next, we have knowledge of language. This is gonna refine your ability to apply proper language use when it comes to clarity and effectiveness of communication. It goes beyond that basics to explore how language can be manipulated for different purposes, the impact of word choices when it comes to meaning and tone, and the organization and impact of sentences. And then the very last section is conventions of standard English. I'm gonna ensure that you are well-versed in the rules of standard English grammar and punctuation. Let's be honest, it's very difficult, but we're gonna get through it. This section covers sentence structures, including the correct use of clauses and modifiers, and grammar rules related to subject, verb agreement, verb tenses, and pronoun usage. It also addresses the proper use of punctuation marks, such as commas, apostrophes, and semicolons. So some of you may already have a firm grasp on what's being covered within the T's, but you just need a little bit of some additional understanding when it comes to what kind of questions you're going to encounter. Don't worry, I got you with our practice question guides. It's like a gym for your brain. Honestly, the practice question guides are an essential companion to the comprehensive study guide, whether you're solidifying a robust understanding of the T's content, or really you're just seeking to sharpen your test taking skills with additional practice questions. The guides are packed with high quality questions across all topics that are gonna be covered on the T's, ensuring that you have the opportunity to practice extensively in each subject area. The questions are carefully crafted to mimic the style and difficulty level of the questions you will encounter on the test day, providing a realistic and effective practice experience. Each question is accompanied with a detailed explanation. So not only are you getting the correct answers, but you're also getting the rationale to understand why that answer is correct and why the others are incorrect. This feedback is crucial for learning and allows you to identify areas of weakness that require further study. In addition to all of these guides, there's additional resources that are available for you to be successful. The Nurse Chung Free ATIT Study Group on Facebook is an active community of fellow TEAS candidates. This is where you're gonna connect, share insights, and seek advice from peers who are also on that journey that you are as well. It's a supportive environment where I and other experienced members will be able to answer your questions, provide additional clarification, as well as offer motivation. It's a dynamic group where the latest tips, updates, and strategies are all shared in real time. And another huge announcement, I will be doing live study sessions starting in February. This is gonna give you more of an interactive and engaging study experience. You've all been asking for it, it's coming. <laughs> These live streams are set to cover all of the critical content that you're gonna face when it comes to the TEAS exam. It's like attending a live class where you can ask questions and get immediate answers. We'll walk you through those complex concepts, break down challenging questions, and review that core material in a format that's both that is both informative as well as engaging. So these sessions are designed to provide the knowledge and skills that you're gonna need in order to be confident to help you excel on exam day. And that's the final stitch, my future nurses. You're now armed with the insider knowledge, the ultimate guides, and yes, a nurse who believes in laughter really is the best medicine to help you get through your ATITs. Remember hitting that like button, dropping a comment, and subscribing to this channel are best ways to keep up with the nursing content that you're gonna need for the exam. Plus, it's a great way to show support and to keep the good stuff coming your way. Stay connected, stay curious, and above all, keep nurturing that brilliant mind of yours. Happy studying. <laughs> Bye.